Lesson 9, Coordinate Geometry, the intersection of two lines, the K method. Now, example 1, we have to find the equation of a line that passes the point minus 1, 2 and the point of the section of the lines x plus 2y minus 1 equals 0 and 2x minus 3y plus 2 equals 0. Now, we could solve these two equations simultaneously and uh, find the point of the section and using this other point, uh, work out the equation of the line. However, there is a a much neater and faster way of doing it. What we, what we can do now is we can actually rewrite the equation that passes through this point being in the form of x plus 2y minus 1 plus k times the other one. This bypasses solving the things simultaneously. Right now, so this line, right, will contain this particular point. Now, to work out what that uh, line is, all we need to do is work out what k is. Now we know the point minus one two lies on this line. So putting in minus one for x, we get minus one, and putting in the two for y, we get plus four minus one plus k and two minus 2 minus 6 plus 2 equals 0. Now of course this becomes just 2 here and this becomes minus 6k equals 0 which of course means that k is equal to 1 third. Now all remains now is to replace this k with the 1 third to get the equation of the line. So that becomes x plus 2y minus 1 plus 1 third 2x minus 3y plus 2 equals 0. Now I'm going to multiply this out by 3 to get rid of this one. So this becomes 3x plus 6y minus 3 plus 2x minus 3y plus 2 equals 0. And our final equation in general form becomes 5x plus 3y minus 1 equals 0. Now in example 2 we have to find the equation of a line that has a gradient of 2 and passes through the point of the section of the lines y equals x plus 4 and y equals minus x plus 3. Now there's no real advantage in using the K method here. We could use solve these simultaneously, get what x and y are, and use the point gradient form of a line to work out the equation. So we'll go through it and just show you how it works. We have to put these in the general form. So this will become x minus y plus 4 equals 0. Taking this across, taking it back the other way, we get x plus y minus 3 equals 0. Then x minus y plus 4 plus k into x plus y minus 3 equals 0. Now we need to rearrange this in the gradient form of a line. So now this becomes x minus y plus 4 plus kx plus ky minus 3k equals 0. So in the case the, the y's together, we'll have ky minus y plus kx plus x, and this is plus 4 minus 3k equals 0. Now keeping the, the y's on this side, we get k minus 1y is equal to, this will be minus k x minus x plus 3k minus 4 and we'll have k minus 1 y equals this is minus be k plus 1 x plus 3k minus 4 and then divide through by k minus 1 Okay, now this is the gradient, so we know that's equal to 2, so we say therefore 
minus k plus 1 on k, oops, minus 1 equals 2. We're going to reverse the denominator. 1 minus k equals 2. And then that becomes k plus 1 equals 2 minus 2k. 3k equals 1, which means k equals one third. And now we go back and we put that back into that equation. So we're going to have x minus y plus 4 plus one third into x plus y minus 3 equals naught. That's right, isn't it? x minus y. Oh. That's it, yep. So multiply throughout by 3, we get 3x minus 3y plus 12 plus x plus y minus 3 equals 0. So this becomes 4x minus 2y plus 9 equals 0.